Guillain-Barre syndrome, often referred to as GBS, is a rare neurological disorder. It occurs when the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own peripheral nervous system. This system connects the brain and spinal cord to the rest of the body. The attack disrupts nerve signals, leading to muscle weakness and, in severe cases, paralysis. GBS can affect people of all ages, however, it is slightly more common in adults and males. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial in managing GBS. Prompt medical attention can help limit the severity of the symptoms and improve long-term outcomes. While the exact cause of GBS is unknown, it is often triggered by an infection. These infections can be bacterial or viral, like the flu or stomach flu. In rare cases, vaccinations and surgeries have also been linked to GBS. Fortunately, GBS is not contagious. It is not something you can catch from another person. Understanding the causes, symptoms and treatments for GBS is essential for both patients and healthcare providers. The exact causes of Guillain-Barre syndrome are not fully understood. However, research suggests that it is an autoimmune disorder. This means the body's immune system, which normally protects against foreign invaders, mistakenly attacks its own healthy cells and tissues. In the case of GBS, the immune system attacks the myelin sheath, a protective covering around nerve fibers. Several factors can trigger GBS. Infections, particularly viral and bacterial infections, are considered the most common triggers. For instance, the Campylobacter jejuni bacterium, often associated with food poisoning, has been linked to GBS. Similarly, viruses like the flu virus, Epstein-Barr virus and Cytomegalovirus virus have also been implicated. While rare, vaccinations have also been associated with a slightly increased risk of developing GBS. The risk is extremely small and the benefits of vaccination generally far outweigh the potential risks. Surgeries and other medical procedures, though uncommon, have also been identified as potential triggers for GBS. It's important to note that not everyone exposed to these triggers will develop GBS. The exact mechanisms that lead to the immune system's malfunction remain an area of active research. Guillain-Barre syndrome encompasses several subtypes, each with unique characteristics. The most common type is acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradicular neuropathy, or ADP. AIDP is characterized by the immune system attacking the myelin sheath, leading to nerve inflammation and disrupted signal transmission. Another type is Miller-Fisher syndrome, which affects the nerves controlling eye movements, balance and coordination. This can result in double vision, difficulty walking and unsteady gait. Acute motor axonal neuropathy and acute motor sensory axonal neuropathy are less common types of GBS. These subtypes target the axons, the long extensions of nerve cells that transmit signals. The symptoms of GBS typically begin with tingling and weakness in the extremities, often starting in the feet and hands. This weakness can spread rapidly, sometimes within hours, to other parts of the body. As the condition progresses, muscle weakness can become more severe, leading to difficulty walking, where speaking, swallowing and even breathing. In severe cases, GBS can lead to paralysis, requiring mechanical ventilation to assist with breathing. A diagnosing Guillain-Barre syndrome involves a combination of assessments, including a review of medical history, physical examination and specific diagnostic tests. Doctors will typically inquire about recent illnesses, infections, vaccinations or surgeries that might have triggered the condition. A neurological examination will assess reflexes, muscle strength, coordination and sensory function. One of the key diagnostic tests for GBS is a lumbar puncture, also known as a spinal tap. This procedure involves extracting a small amount of cerebrospinal fluid from the spinal canal. In GBS, the cerebrospinal fluid often shows elevated protein levels with a normal white blood cell counter pattern that helps distinguish it from other neurological disorders. Another diagnostic test is an electromyography. This test measures the electrical activity of muscles and can help determine the extent of nerve damage. Nerve conduction studies are often performed alongside electromyography. These studies measure the speed at which electrical impulses travel along nerves, providing insights into nerve function. Treatment for GBS typically involves hospitalization to closely monitor the patient's condition 
and provide supportive care. Plasma exchange, also known as plasmapheresis, is a common treatment that involves removing a portion of the patient's blood and separating the plasma from the blood cells. The plasma, which contains antibodies, is then replaced with a substitute solution before the blood is returned to the patient. Intravenous immunoglobulin therapy is another treatment option. This therapy involves administering high doses of antibodies from healthy donors, which helps modulate the immune system's attack on the nervous system. 